In 1953, after hearing that some restaurants in California were selling more than 100 pounds of hamburger a day, Bob Corey at Corey's Lunch Fountain realized that at 10 pounds a week, he was doing something wrong. He needed a new concept and method of merchandising. Bob's goal was to sell a quality hamburger at the reasonable price of 19 cents with his team of young people, quick service, and a very clean restaurant. He would build a restaurant with glass on three sides so the customers could see the hardworking employees and the cleanliness of their grill and work area. Everything was designed to generate complete customer satisfaction. In 1955, Bob's dream began to unfold. Having no fast food experience, Bob learned what he could from other entrepreneurs in Oakland and Portland. When the bids for his first store came in too high, Smitty, a friend of George Roten's, built the Bare Bones building for an affordable amount. Bob bought a five gallon Sweden ice cream freezer and warmed it up to milkshake temperature so he could quickly draw great shakes for 21 cents. After building a walk-in cooler instead of a reach-in, Bob realized that he could not afford a condiment dispenser. So he decided to eliminate two of the three steps when dressing his hamburgers by mixing together the mustard, ketchup, relish, and his secret ingredient. It was then that Bob's secret sauce was born. In 1955, Bob's 19 cent hamburgers on Kaplan Hood was born. The staff was made up of Jan Riggs, Jim Norton, John Glance, Judy Howard, Betty Zahara, Marilee Baker, Marianne Blewett, and many others came later. Nate Osby, Betty Grimes, Larry Cooper, Jackie Barker, Debbie Johnson, Steve Schmidt, Randy Phillips, Phyllis, Joan, Mike Hilficker, Doug Corey, and Vic Gould. In 1960, with some of the top employees from his original store, Bob South Salem was opened. In 1962, on October 12th, one of the city's worst storms blew out all of the kitchen windows and lifted the roof right off the top of the building. When the roof settled back down, it was out of line from where it was supposed to be. In 1962, Bob also opened store number three on 6th Street in Eugene. The shipment of one of the French fryers was delayed. So he opened with only one, and this created quite a big problem. In 1964, Bob's Springfield was opened, followed by Bob's Coburg Road in 1965. During that year, a suggestion by the son of Bob Bennett led to the beginning of Bob's Big Brute. In 1965, Bob's Kaiser was opened. 1967, Bob's Corvallis, 1968, Bob's Lancaster, and 1969, 13th and Patterson. The Medford store was opened in 1970, followed by West 11th and Eugene, Kings Road in Corvallis, Albany, Grants Pass, Willamette in Eugene, Ivy Street in Junction City, Bend, and finally Antler in Redmond.
Today, the fast food industry is dominated by Burger King, McDonald's, and other national brands. Growing up in the 50s and 60s, Bob's 19 cent hamburgers was a tradition. Any Friday or Saturday night, teenagers from not only Salem, but Woodburn, Silverton, Mill City, Dallas, and everywhere in between were cruising through Bob's. Bob's was not just a place, but the only place to be and to be seen.
Many remember Bob's as a family tradition. Others see Bob's as a part of our community. Most all remember the focus on quality and price for Bob's customers. Fortunately for those of us who are a part of the Bob's family, we remember the sincerity of Bob and his family, caring about the lives of his employees, the integrity and forgiveness in Bob's character. And for that, we are blessed. Bob's will be forever a fond memory for all of us. Bob's 19 cent hamburgers, where quality and price meet.